In this video, I'm going to show you and explain the holy functional training triad. Maybe you've been in the gym for a long time. You were pumping up your gym muscles and you've suddenly realized, wow, there's more to fitness than just pumping up your biceps. If that is you and you're looking for a new way to train, a more practical way, this video is perfect for you. But before we get started, we help busy over 40s get in shape with only 30 minutes of kettlebell training per week in the next six weeks. If you want to find out more about our method, check the first link in the description and download our free ebook called The Kettlebell Code. Grüezi miteinander, Gregory von Lebestag hier. The inspiration to this video is based off of a comment from one of our subscribers. And as I was reading that comment, I thought to myself, what is the holy functional training triad? I'm going to give you the answer right now. And the first part of the holy functional training triad is the kettlebell. The one thing that I love about the kettlebell is the idea of weighted locomotion. If you train with the kettlebell, you don't actually grab the weight like you would a dumbbell, for example, but you attach the weight to your frame. This looks like this. One, two, three. Now I'm adding additional weight to my frame and I'm doing natural movements. And speaking of movements, let's check out the fundamental eight exercises that you must do if you pick up the kettlebell which is the first part of the holy functional training triad. Exercise number one is the hang row. A powerful exercise to train your posterior chain as well as your big back muscle and your arms. Exercise number two is the hang deadlift. This exercise goes into a similar vein like the row, and it's the precursor of the swing. Exercise number three, the goblet squat. The goblet squat is one of the most powerful exercises that you can do with the kettlebell. It not only trains your legs, but also your back, your arms, your chest, that's why it's a full body exercise. A little hint, by the way, almost all kettlebell exercises are full body. Exercise number four, the reverse lunge. The reverse lunge is a powerful exercise that can help you open up your hips, develop a little bit more flexibility and mobility in that area, and it can also help you build explosiveness. Exercise number five of the fundamental eight of the kettlebell is the press. You'll do lots of presses when you engage with kettlebells. That's why it sits bread and butter. It will bulletproof your shoulder and build an awesome, strong, and good looking upper body. These five exercises I've just shown you belong into the category of the grinds. Grinds are dynamic exercises that you can also do with a dumbbell or a barbell. However, the kettlebell adds its own set of challenge because of the offset weight. The next three exercises are the holy trinity of the fundamental eight of kettlebell training. And because they're so vital, I've dedicated a whole video to them, which you can check out right here. Exercise number one, the hand-to-hand -hand swing. With the swing, you're able to rebuild your body's elasticity, train your posterior chain, flow with the kettlebell, become one with it, and use the USP, the unique selling point of kettlebell training. Exercise number seven is the clean. The 
The clean is the big brother of the kettlebell swing. So all the mistakes that you make in the swing will be transferred into the clean. So make sure you handle this big boy properly when you engage into the ballistic component of kettlebell training. And exercise number eight, which finalizes the holy trinity of kettlebell training, which is part of the fundamental eight of kettlebells, which is part of the holy functional training triad, the snatch. <sighs> The snatch is the big brother of the clean. And by now you realize that the swing, the clean as well as the snatch are related to each other. The snatch is one of the best exercises that you can do with a kettlebell. It trains every single muscle group that you have. You will build strength, cardiovascular endurance, mobility, everything. It's a full package of an exercise that you must learn ASAP. Pillar number two of the holy functional training triad is body weight. And I consider the fundamental three of body weight exercises that work so incredibly well with kettlebells that we can say that if the kettlebell is the bread, body weight is the butter. Exercise number one, the push up. One of the best exercises for your upper body, period. Exercise number two of the fundamental three of body weight is the body weight squat. And I want to relay the information I've received from a well-known weightlifting scientist, and that is allow full flexion of the joints. Don't be scared of bending. Because if you think that you have to stop right here because otherwise your knees will explode, you are playing God. And the last exercise of the fundamental three of body weight is the one pump burpee. My brother Funk Roberts would agree immediately in a split second. The backstory of the burpee is fascinating. It comes from a guy whose name is actually Burpee, and his first name is Royal. So the original idea of the Burpee was squat down, hands down, jump into a sprawl, jump back into the bottom of a squat, stand up. No jumping up and down, not necessary. And what guys in the military then added to the exercise, which makes it even more practical and functional is squat, hands down, sprawl, push up, back up, bam, here we go. Number three of the holy functional training triad is the mace. I believe, from my perspective, the mace has the fundamental one exercise, which I'm gonna show you in a second. Before, I want to let you know that I am not the mace expert. If you want to really learn about the mace and all its intricate details, check out my brother Halbert Eggbelts, aka the Flowing Dutchman. The fundamental one exercise of the mace that I do on a regular basis is the backswing. <sighs> This exercise adds a strengthening movement and a plane of motion we don't find ourselves in very often, and that is the frontal plane. Now, if you ask yourself how you should design a workout with these particular exercises that I've just shown you, very easy. Use all these exercises that I've shown you, train them for 30 seconds each, and then rest 15 seconds in between, and there you have yourself a powerful workout. As soon as you've done all these exercises, you have one round, then you rest for one minute, and then do another round, or maybe two. Here's the next thing that you have to do. Clean and press that like and subscribe button. Share with a friend who's also interested in kettlebells, and if you made it this far, consider downloading our free ebook called The Kettlebell Code. This ebook is going to help you unlock the code of kettlebell training. 
Because if you're over 40, 50 or 60, you don't have lots of time, but you still want to take care of your fitness, the kettlebell suits itself perfectly for this task. So download the ebook, it's 100% free, and you'll learn lots of it that you can put in practice ASAP.